How do you feel, Jasmine? Not gonna happen. A smiling Jasmine Headley is breathing a sigh of relief tonight after notching two major legal hurdles in a matter of 24 hours. I'm just so grateful to everyone, and I'm just happy to be free. A day after the Brooklyn DA dropped all charges against her in connection with a disturbing encounter at a government benefits office where NYPD officers ripped her one-year-old son out of her hands. A judge in New Jersey followed suit, also dropping charges against Headley in an unrelated 2016 credit card fraud case. As part of the agreement in that case, she will pay back $1,000 and will need to complete 20 hours of community service. Release her now! Release her now! Headley's arrest ignited a firestorm across the city, raising questions around the conduct of police officers and whether their use of force was warranted. The incident, which all started when Headley sat on the floor because of the lack of seats in the office, is still under investigation. The Patrolmen's Benevolent Association is sticking by the police officers, appearing to pin the blame on security officers at the Human Resources Administration Office. Once that HRA officer grabbed that woman who was attempting to leave and put her to the grounds, police officers had no choice but to try to protect that baby. Mayor de Blasio also came out in defense of the police officers, acknowledging that the situation at the office had already spiraled out of control before NYPD arrived. It's as simple as this. She was not presenting a danger. She was a mother with a child. There was no reason for anyone to get physical. In addition to offering her apology, Mayor de Blasio said he wants to help Headley out by expediting the whole benefits process so she does not have to return to the HRA offices. He also said that he wants to meet with her at some point. Now, we did put a call out to the mayor's office to find out when that will take place. We have yet to hear back. We're live in Bedside tonight. I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News. I know we'll certainly stay on.